what is really good people? It's Jess, and it's time for another video. <sighs> Let's talk. My psoriasis has gone down dramatically, and um, yeah, the medication has really worked. You guys, I haven't actually kind of recorded for about, I would say close to five weeks. I would say, like I haven't really been keeping up to date with what's going on and doing like my progress reports. Why that is, I explained in the last video why that is, but, but, my psoriasis has gotten better. And I think the best thing to do right now is just to show you how much better it's gotten. So, um, how about let's get right straight into that instead, yeah? Shall we? Okay, cool. Give me one sec. Okay. Are you ready? So, here we go. Pow, pow. Yep. As you can see, it has gone down dramatically. Look at my back. That's nicely gone down. And if you look at my arms, take a look at that. Look, it's almost gone, isn't it? Like you can't even like see much of the scarring. Body's a little bit, you know, body's still got a little bit of stuff here and there. Um, let me brighten this up a little bit because it's gone a bit dark in the room, but I would say that's a pretty good result so far. I would say it's almost gone, to be honest. And just a quick shot of my legs here. You guys are in my legs. Who is calling me? But look at it, it's basically clear. If we look at the rest of my legs. Look, look, let's zoom out a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane, isn't it? Go down here. We'll see here, still got a few little bits here and there. Little bit there. But all in all, I would say, it's basically gone. <clears throat> in terms of the face, you can actually see my face, yeah? I would say like it's mostly gone. I've got like little bits here a little bit here, but my scalp, most of it is mainly gone. So, really good news, good news. And you know, just as I said before, that I have mainly just been using biologics, I haven't really been using anything else, which is amazing. And today is actually the day that I do my next injection. So, let's get to that, shall we? There we go. Um, the lighting in here is so bad because the thing is, that, like, it's like really sunny, but there's also clouds, so it's like getting blown out, then it's not getting blown out, and then it's too dark, but it's not dark enough. It's, uh, I don't know. We'll get to with it. So, with the Stellara, the thing you have to do is you have to keep it in your fridge. Um, and then, you also need to warm it up a little bit because then it's a bit too, um, I don't know why I have to warm it up actually. If anyone knows why you have to warm it up, let me know. There's my cat. So, just keep it in your hands and just, um, yeah, warm it up. So, I'm gonna keep it in my hand. I've got my sort of sterile wipe things here. No, not wipe things, like bandages. And I've got the sterile cleansing wipe, so I'm gonna do it here. Hopefully I'm a lot better at doing this now. But um, let's see, we have to remember, we're doing it like this and not like this. So there, and done. That was not too bad. Now if you see here, no blood, no nothing, nice and easy. Okay, so that's my Stellara done. And also I've got like a quite an interesting surprise that I got sent to me by a company in California. Hold on a second, let me go and get it. I didn't realize it's actually right here. 
Okay, and here it is. So, should we have a look at what's inside? Let's do that. Ooh, look at that. You know what's crazy? The amount of cat hair that is just like everywhere. I don't know if any of you have got cats, but my cats, because it's summer, they're just molting and just everywhere I go, there's just fur everywhere. And I just can't get rid of it. I, I cannot, it's just fur everywhere, everywhere. Anyway, let's get back to this. So this is what I've been sent. It's called Psoriasis Honey, and it's from a company in California. And uh, yeah, they reached out to me and they were like, hey, we've seen your Instagram, we've seen your YouTube, um, we'd really like you to try our product. And the nice thing is, it wasn't really for like a sponsorship or anything like that. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them, they're not paying me at all for this video. They just said we really would like you to try out our product, which is really cool. So they did send it to me for free, I will say that. And um, they did send this to me, like, they sent this to me like weeks ago, but I just haven't got around to doing it. I've been busy with life and all that kind of stuff. It's just been, it's been crazy. It's been crazy at the moment. So I am getting on this now. And what I'm going to do, just to see how well this works is, I'm going to be applying this every day and I'm not going to be using any other creams, any other medication, no nothing, no topical creams, just this to see what it does over the next course of a week. And hopefully, you know, it, I'll see some improvement. I don't think that it's going to get rid of my psoriasis, I'll just say that up front right now. Um, I do think though it will be a really good way of uh, moisturising. So I've got two products. I've got. Um, this here, which is a uh, gentle oatmeal um, and salt soap. And this here, sulfate free, paraben free, you know, the ingredients seem like they're all pretty natural. It's got, you know, coconut oil, um, palm oil, um, sunflower oil, organic honey, grapeseed oil, dead sea salt, uh, purified water, sodium hydroxide, and lavender essential oil. So all things natural, I will say. I'm going to be using this to shower with over the next uh, week or two. And then this is called Skin Renewing Cream. And this is Nutrient Rich Deep Moisturizing Itch Cooling Cream. So this is the interesting thing, is that it's itch cooling, so they say. Uh, spot test on unaffected area first before using. Apply evenly to your skin, apply lightly and use one to three times a day as needed for best results after, oh, use after bathing to lock in the moisture. So we can use these hand in hand. Ingredients, let's see, we have organic pure honey, nice. Uh, grapeseed oil, grated beeswax, organic grated beeswax, that's interesting. Salicylic acid, we all know, like people who have psoriasis know how, how that works. Organic sunflower oil, pure spring water, and op optifan. I don't know what that is, but yeah, that's in there. So, yeah, that's quite cool. Should we see what it feels like and what it sort of smells like and all that stuff? So, let's try that now, shall we? So, my cat has an addiction to plastic like this. Watch this. Yep, she has an addiction to biting this kind of plastic. Why? I have no idea. Stop it, Dina. You dumb? You dumb? Okay, you're gonna sit right in front of the camera, nice. All right, so we're just gonna have to carry this on with her here. Um, let's move the camera. Dina, come on, baby, please. Ah, oh, I'm trying to shoot a video here, sweetheart, please. Okay, okay, now we're gonna get to this. So, take it off the packaging. Let's 
So, it kind of smells of Can you get your butt out of my face, Dina, please? What is going on here? It smells weird. Not really that strong honey smell. You know, you'd think that would be like a super strong honey smell. There isn't that strong a honey smell. Okay. All right. Let's, um, should we try it out? Dip our finger in, see what it's like. Let's do that. Right, so that's what it looks like, and let's just give it a little bit of a Hmm. So she's become very relaxed. What should we do? Yeah? Yeah? Give a little Give a little. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, and on the skin, let's just see what this is like. So it's said to apply it to an unaffected area. Oh, wow, that is very, very oily. Yeah, that is super oily. You can't really tell from the angle that the camera's on there right now, but let me just, uh, let me rub it in and, sit and see what happens first. I'm actually gonna just do my whole hands, just do that. Okay, so my first initial reaction with the cream is that um, it is very sticky and I honestly don't know how I feel about it. Like my hands are, can you hear that? Like my hand, my skin is very, very sticky. Do you know what it feels like? It feels like, you know when you poured Coke on your hands, like Coca-Cola, and um, it kind of dries up, you don't wash your hands and it's super sticky. That's kind of what it feels like. And I don't know if that's because I use too much or what, but. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I have to carry on giving it a go. Um, might be a bit different as soon as I come out of the shower though. I will say one thing, you only need a tiny bit of this. Um, I use a small amount and that is still way too much. I think that this this, this stuff goes a long, long way. Um, so yeah, might need to do this out of the, after the shower because it might react differently to water, I'm not sure. We'll see. Now, time for the soap. Um, let's see what this smells like, shall we? Ooh. Oh my god, that smells so weird. Um, do you know what it smells like? It smells like Indian chai tea. It's got that kind of milky, spicy, very spicy uh, smell to it. It's very aromatic. What's that, like cardamom? Or like, it's like a, it's like a spicy, almost lavender. Yeah, it's like a spicy lavender, very creamy, very sweet smell, extremely sweet smell. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna have to give this a go tonight after I shower. So, that's that. I'm gonna be testing that out for the next two weeks, so expect a video in two weeks from today. Um, about this stuff and see what my thoughts are. I will be, you know, in the future videos, I will be posting up saying what I think about it. Um, at the moment, as it stands, soap, as the moment as it stands, the soap I'm quite excited about because it smells quite nice. Oh, wow, we got really dark in here. Let's just, son, where did you go? Come back, boom, boom, boom. There we go, okay. So I keep looking into the LCD screen. I haven't done like recording for a while, so I've kind of forgotten myself. I've forgotten what I have to do um, and just, Train myself again to just look into right there. Call that be if we have 3D glasses, you could just be like, whoa! Yeah, so I'm gonna review this in the next two weeks. Only gonna be using this, uh, see how it does. Um, the sort of skin renewing cream, I'm not so sure about, because it's just so sticky, like my hands are feeling really sticky right now. The lighting, come on. 
yeah, just cause like, you know, my hands are so sticky right now. Um, and the soap, wow, sun just went. I'm really sorry about the sun and the lighting just keep going up and down. It's just, I, there's nothing I can do, it's nature, okay? I just have to deal with it. Um, the soap I'm quite excited about, because the soap smells really nice. I like that kind of spicy, lavender, very aromatic, creamy smell to it. So, I'm gonna try that out. Now, on to some other news. So, I wanna start branching out on my YouTube, because at the moment it's all been psoriasis, like, um, focus, which, you know, is a great thing. Like, I've got a good following, like, all you guys, I love you guys. What are we on, like, 360 subscribers now? We're doing quite well so far. But, the thing is, I do want to branch out. I want to start doing things that I really, really enjoy doing. So, I don't know if you know this, but remember, if you've been following me, for those of you who've been following me since the beginning, I told you that I wanted to do a cooking show because I love cooking. Now, truth be told, I actually filmed, like, six videos of me cooking. I just didn't upload them because I didn't, didn't feel like it was the right time to. Now that I'm getting better, I really, really want to start uploading that. So, I think maybe this week or next week I'm going to I'm going to upload a cooking uh, a little cooking video. They're not psoriasis recipes, they're not anything like that. They're not like vegan or these stuff. It's just stuff that I like cooking, so, you know, yeah, just my own recipes and things like that. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to start uploading those, so you're going to start seeing some cooking stuff on my channel. I've also started just filming my day-to-day -day life and just showing you like what I do now, like going out, I've started playing golf again, really getting into this filming thing, so I've started filming some quite cool projects. Um, and yeah, like I just want you guys to come with me on this journey and just, you know, just show you that like now that my psoriasis is... I'm, I'm gonna say it's clear. It's clear in comparison to what it was before, as you guys, you remember what it was like before. I wanna start showing you that now that I've got this free time, I'm I'm utilizing my life as much as possible. I'm doing as as like, as like many things as I possibly can. And so right now I'm gonna utilize all this freedom that I have. I'm gonna start doing things that I haven't done in a long time. I'm gonna pick stuff back up. I'm gonna try and learn new things. I'm gonna do as much as I can with this freedom because those of you who have psoriasis, you know this, this this might not last very long. I might only have like two years of my body feeling great and then it just comes back again on bedbound again. So it's time to start living, isn't it? It is time to start living. But yes, so that is it for today. Um, I am going to start uploading more and more. I'm going to start uploading different stuff now. So expect my channel to change. It is going to change. Before we go, how about we just take another like rewind? Let's let, let's go back in time and look at what our body used to look like. Yeah, should we do that? All right, let's do that. Okay, so see here, the redness has gone down. Um, the arms are looking really, really good in comparison to uh, other videos that you lot have seen. Um, it has gone down quite a bit. My back, I can't really see my back. I don't really know how much it's gone down. It's crazy, crazy to think that that was only like a month ago, two months ago. I was completely bed bound. Look at my body back then was crazy. Let's look at it now. Look at it now. That is a huge, huge change. Look at my arms. Look at my arms. I'm wearing t-shirts and stuff now. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? My legs are clear, my face is basically clear, my hair is clear, I'm growing hair again. Look at this, I'm growing hair again. Isn't that crazy? I'm really glad that this is now going. And thank you all to like all of you guys, all, all of your support. You really, you really helped me along with this journey. And I don't think I could have done it without you guys, you know, especially my girlfriend and family and stuff like that and my friends. But you guys, you, you really did help me. You really pushed me. And thank you for following along on my journey. I've really appreciated it. I now want you to come with me on my other journey of life. You know, the, the, the fun side of things. So, let's wrap up this video. I will catch you all soon. Got some videos to upload. Got some videos to edit. Got all this stuff to do. And got to test out these creams. Yeah? So, love you all. I will see you a lot soon. 
and yeah have fun stay strong you know the psoriasis will go eventually try out different things and yes love you all peace